The TESA MicroHeight has been redesigned and the result is a rugged gauge with a highly intuitive user interface that is packed with capabilities. Those familiar with the MicroHeight family of height gauges will find that using it hasn't changed very much. The difference is that the gauge is easier to use and more ergonomic than ever before. So let's take a look at the steps for getting started with the new MicroHeight. Press the power button to start the MicroHeight and begin measuring. Upon starting, the MicroHeight will begin the initialization process. The probe will automatically move up and down the column to clear the scale. Next, the display will indicate that it's time to calibrate the probe using the masterpiece. Move all other parts away from the probe and position the masterpiece for calibration. Then press the right arrow button on the display to begin the calibration sequence. Once the gauge is calibrated, you're ready to establish your datum point and begin measuring. I'll set my datum to the surface plate by turning the rotary control handle counterclockwise and moving the probe downward. Now I'll measure the top and bottom of this bore by selecting the automatic bore measurement button from the measurement zone on the keypad. I'll sweep each surface so that the gauge can determine the high and low point. When the measuring process is complete, the centerline measurement is displayed. In addition, the display shows the measurement to the top of the bore, the bottom of the bore, and the difference between these two measurements. Next, I'll measure this slot. With my part in position, I'll select the automatic groove measurement button on the keypad. The probe will measure the top and bottom of the slot, and the measured result will be displayed. For a complete overview of all the design advantages and features of this gauge, be sure to see the YouTube video TESA MicroHeight for quick and accurate measurement. You'll find a link to this video and other related videos below.